Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So for yesterday's video, we did a rebuild based off of the trade rumor of Russell Westbrook being traded to the Detroit Pistons in exchange for Blake Griffin. I asked you guys to get that video to 2,000 likes if you wanted to see the Houston Rockets side of the rebuild. You guys did that, so we are doing that for today's video, guys. So there was kind of like mixed feelings about that trade. You know, there was people saying that, well, the Pistons don't really want to eat up their salary cap by, you know, taking on a long-term contract with Russell Westbrook. And then obviously, you know, Houston Rocket fans are going to be concerned about the health of Blake Griffin. Um, I would have to say that for this trade to get done, you know, Blake would need to pass a physical and really uh, just show with the Rockets organization that he's ready to go, man. Because like I said, like just the other season he was coming off his best statistical season of all time man like he was an absolute beast out there not too long ago 25 points eight rebounds five assists per game um obviously his defense not all that great so it would be a little interesting you know as far as the small ball type of basketball goes for the houston rockets but he's 6'10 so it wouldn't even really even be small ball anymore but you know what i'm saying shot 36 percent from three his handles were great out there i mean i watched this guy for the entire season like just some of the things he was doing out there and that was his number one option now he would be the number two option to um to james harden and i think it would actually work out pretty nicely i mean i think it would work out pretty nicely so we are going to get going on this rebuild as far as what i want to do because uh well the first thing we have to do is go to staff signing uh, dan tony is no longer part of the organization so we got to go out there and get ourselves a new head coach so we are going to fire him and then we have to decide do we want to go the route of the small ball or do we want to try to build a more traditional team around james harden i use the, tr uh, the term traditional very lightly you know just a team that still is up pace and tempo and everything but maybe doesn't take it to the scenario of running pj tucker at the center position you know what i'm saying man so let's get ourselves head coach we got uh you know, we got coach k out there we got tony bennett we got bob hurley danny ainge penny hardaway uh, i always like you know james posey we got uh my guy chauncey billups guys i love chauncey billups guys uh who else we got we got sam cassell I think I've heard rumors about Sam Cassell actually going and being the coach of this team because he used to play for them and stuff uh, early on in his NBA career. I think won some championships with them. So we're actually going to go ahead and get Sam Cassell as the coach of this team just because, you know, it feels a bit realistic. So here we go. He signs up for that. Looks good, man. All right, next up, we do have the NBA draft. I don't know if the Houston Rockets actually have any draft picks. If they do, it's not going to be very good because obviously, you know, they were in the playoffs and stuff. Yeah, we don't have any draft picks. Uh, we don't got a damn single draft pick, guys. Okay, that's all good. We don't need the draft. We're fine, man. We're good so what exactly do we do with this team well we gotta find ourselves a point guard um i'm cool with you know robbery covington at small forward i have no issues with that i do know that he's kind of trash in 2k but uh yeah it is what it is blake griffin i have him listed as center with pj tucker at the four spot that's kind of fine um eric gordon i think we could actually probably trade him away and try to find ourselves you know a decent center or, i'm sorry a decent point guard out there or whatnot uh, and then depending on you know pg tucker's rating if it goes down a lot i mean part of me is like maybe i just put blake griffin back at power forward we kind of go from there not really sure man but uh yeah so rookie signings nothing going on with that let's go to team player options uh austin rivers declined that kind of sucks because that's a really good uh, you know value deal for him ben mclemore uh, we'll bring him back on the team you know he was really solid i think he really uh was just wowed a lot of people um you know just compared to what he used to be as to what he was for the houston rockets he was pretty damn solid man so yeah we don't have a lot of money to work with here guys we don't really have a lot of money to work with here um as far as point guards you got rondo collison's obviously retired not part of the game uh reggie jackson gg augustine yeah we got to go to the trade finder guys we are definitely gonna have to go to the trade finder for this um i'm kind of considering going for like a marcus saw because i think that's like the next step of this process is maybe or even we could go we could go aaron baines he would kind of work out nicely too man it's like instead of going for the small ball just go for big guys that play like guards and i mean you know aaron baines six to the three point line uh but so does marcus all these days so i'm gonna offer both these guys a contract see which one you know accepts the deal and uh yo where do you go man where do you go where are you uh, yeah there we go aaron baines we'll see which one accepts and uh they both agree i don't know if i can get both i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it up to fate see which uh one 2k gives me man we'll see which one 2k gives me and i end up getting i get marcus so i'm cool with that man i'm completely cool with that uh yes yeah, so we'll probably put blake griffin back at the power forward position and it's gonna be interesting here man but uh austin rivers you do have rights on him so definitely want to get him back at least for a backup point guard you know realistically could actually be the starting point guard i wouldn't really have an issue with that either uh so we got him we got ben for shooting guard slash small forward we got eric gordon that we're probably gonna trade away um i guess as far as like some backup players patrick patterson's fine Demar i actually like Demar carroll quite a bit so we'll get him signed up for a minimum deal there we go 
And, uh, yeah, man, besides for that, I am going to go... Yo, is that Marvin Williams? He's a center now? He's retired, though. So, yeah, not going to get him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, guys, simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Like I said, check out some trades. Try to get ourselves a better starting point guard um, that can play nicely alongside James Harden. And, uh, yeah, guys, we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like so far, guys. We got Austin Rivers. We got James Harden, Robert Covington, P.J. Tucker, and Blake Griffin for the starting five. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is probably putting P.J. Tucker as a backup small forward. I'll just give us a little grit and grind off the bench because he is getting up there in age a little bit, man. So don't really know if I want him as a starter anymore. Um, House is probably going to get traded because, you know, we have P.J. as a backup small forward. So that should be fine. Uh, Marcus Gasol, his reign went down quite a bit. So I'm probably actually going to keep him as a backup center. We're going to try out this small ball Blake Griffin center position. Um, also stole Russell Westbrook's number, by the way, which is kind of funny to think about. Um, also, I, I think Rivers is probably going to get traded because I actually want to give... Uh, Chris Clemens, some, you know, some run at the backup point guard spot. This guy could be an absolute scoring beast in the NBA. He actually reminds me a lot of Isaiah Thomas of the Boston Celtics days. Obviously, being 5'9 kind of helps with that comparison. But yeah, he could really be a solid scorer, I believe. So let's hit up this trade finder, see what's offered up. Um, damn, bro. I, Covington is so bad in this game, man. He's so bad. I know it's because of his tendencies. So I might actually like put up like a shot tendency so that way he's not like shooting 25%. I'm not sure yet, though, man, because a lot of people say that's unrealistic. But at the same time, I think if 2K does such a bad job at, like, doing the player tendencies, then it's kind of our, our job as content creators maybe to fix that. Because um, typically, I mean, well, see, but he's never been, like, great field goal percentage. So it's actually kind of realistic that he doesn't shoot that well anyway, man. As long as the three-point shot's not bad, which it was last season. Okay. I mean, he was good for Minnesota. Philly, 43% field goal percentage. I think we probably trade Robert Covington, guys. We got to get him off this team. It's just not going to work out. We can probably get a really solid player for him. So let's do a trade of Robert and house see what that gets us man what's it gonna get us i'm good for any position except shooting guard uh here we got Ooh, that's a good ass trade there man tobias Harris, i actually think i uh, think would fit out pretty nicely alongside james harden blake griffin we could put harden at point guard and then use matisse as a shooting guard that's nasty man i like that a lot that might be the trade i have to do we got chris middleton he would work out nicely of course colin sexton christian wood Marcus Smart obviously would be a pretty solid choice. Jaron Jackson and Justice Winslow. We got Clint Capella, PJ Washington, Rudy Gobert. Um, yeah, Jonathan Isaac. Okay, man, I think I really like that first trade we saw, though. I think that's the one I probably have to go with, unless something else really pops up my way. And uh, we got Jajante Murray. He would be interesting, but uh, obviously doesn't really... Actually, his three ball is not all that bad anymore. He was 33% last season on it. Uh, of course, that was a 2K simulation. Wow, 85 shot three. I mean, that defense alongside... You know, uh, James Harden would be also be nice. But that's what I kind of like about this trade is that it does keep the ball in James Harden's hands. And Matisse Thibault could play nicely off James Harden, too. We got the bias out of it, right, man? So let's do this trade. We get a more consistent option. Also, Robert Covington obviously played for the 76ers. I think 76 fans probably do miss him to some extent anyway. So they also get some nice, you know, role players out of it. Looks good, man. Let's do this trade. And then, like I was saying, we will put James Harden at the point guard position. Goes down to a 96, which is close to his rating. Keep in mind, guys, I did have to simulate a season to get to this point. That's why the player progression, you know, is a little on the high side. People do question me about that. Uh, that is why. And, yeah, P.J. Tucker will probably actually still keep him as a backup small forward. Blake Griffin goes to an 89 at power forward, man. So, you know what? I think I got to do that. I think just for the consistency and really putting the best possible team out there, um, I do have to put Blake Griffin at power forward. And now what I'm going to try to do is because we still have Rivers that we can trade away. I'm going to toss him into a trade with... Uh, Man, I literally want to keep Clemens out. They're probably just Rivers. And I'll even toss in like two first round picks, man. If it means getting a really solid center out of this, that is the route I am going to go. And I'm willing to give up the pieces to do so. But like I said, man, it has to be a center that can stretch. Oh, we got Kuzma and KCP. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Uh, we got Miritich, who's no longer actually in the NBA. We got Bismarck Miyamo. Yeah, that's giving up a little bit too much here. Definitely not worth two first round draft picks. Yeah, we're not doing those trades. Uh, what else do I got to offer up here, though, man? I mean, I guess I could offer up Bruno Capacolo, but he's got some pretty good promise, but we'll see what's here, man. We'll see what's here. Um, Dante, Tristan Thompson yet again. Okay, yeah, it might just be uh, the man Marcus Salt starting at center, guys. I think we're going to go that route, so. Which is still fine. I mean, he's still 77 overall, still, you know, a good veteran and stuff. And, uh, yeah, what we will do is not use any centers off the bench so it's still kind of sticking true to small ball for the bench unit at least but uh yeah some big ass ball for the starting five but i love the starting five here man it's definitely a different team but it's a team that works around james harden we got so many good passers in our front court we got good you know shooters all around 
it's gonna be interesting man i'm gonna put james harden he's been playing a lot man mvp type of season 45 minutes per game he's playing that much um pj we still got him you know the could play uh is obviously some backup center if absolutely needed let me, let me actually go and make sure he can play that position um yeah just list as a small forward currently so let's go to his edit player and we're gonna go with his under vitals uh we are, we are gonna put him as also a backup center i just switched his college all of a sudden man just changed the whole course of this man's life you know what you're going to tennessee i'm just sorry man because you're the only 10 i see man does he wear number 10 what number oh where's number 17 damn it now now it's not a, now it's a pause joke pause okay man um outside of that we should be good to go we got a three and a half star balance system that should work out pretty nicely it's got veterans it's got youth it's got floor spacers it's got something different james harden please win us the championship here man please win us the championship let's go ahead and simulate the season and see how this new look houston rockets team can do okay guys so a pretty decent season nothing really get too crazy about though uh 49 32 if we beat the spurs right here we'll be a 50 win team which is solid i mean it's definitely a team that's in the running for the nba championship i suppose or at least a team that you're thinking about that you don't want to go up against you know in the first or second round uh we got one more game here against the spurs though simulate with simcast see how this goes see if we can finish with the w man and get that 50 wins out there and uh it's not looking good bro we gave him 40 points in the first damn quarter to the spurs yikes okay um 118.99 we just got absolutely destroyed so not fun not fun but uh yeah it's all good man 49 wins we're we're gonna be a little low-key this season it's all good man we're gonna come out there we're gonna be like the Miami Heat just strike out of nowhere man so uh we got Mo Bamba most improved that's kind of cool okay all NBA first all NBA second James Harden making that play in damn 46 minutes and all NBA third very nice don't see anything about blake griffin anywhere but that's fine man we are the fifth seed well, we, can, we can do something with the fifth seed i suppose uh player stats on the season though guys so we do got 31.7 rebounds seven assists for james harden we got blake griffin guys having a comeback season of a life right there guys 25 points 10 rebounds six assists per game looking like his former self out there tobias at 21 and 7 the stats are really good like for everybody ben was nice uh austin rivers marcus all you know i like the one block and one still at least it's kind of what we got him out there for uh you know matisse thigh was solid defensively um i'm surprised we're only at 49 wins it's not a bad record though. i gotta like, get out get out of my mind like we're better than that but then again james harden you know you kind of have him th in the, up there in that mvp conversation you would hope he could get you to like mid 50s right but uh here we go man first round we got the la clippers blake griffin's former former team simulate round right here see how this goes we're gonna get eliminated first round man it looks like it definitely could happen we're down 2-1 uh 2-2 two, two. come on man let's get the three okay it's not looking good not looking good 3-3 three, three. and hey we come back guys we win in a seven game series 45 and 10 for james Harden, 29 for tobias um awesome rivers i'm actually kind of happy we kept him around for like you know the bench and stuff Alrighty, next up golden state warriors not feeling too good about this series man you know especially after losing or almost losing the game seven to the fourth seed uh wow damn okay hey we built to beat the golden state warriors and we got the dallas mavericks who are never fun to go up against this team but still they're only the sixth seed so we got that going for us um wow man yeah we uh they got rid of draymond green and replaced him with tim hardaway jr interesting management choice but hey it is what it is blake griffin 44 15 and 3 25 for tobias 26 and 14 for harden tobias is playing fantastic man like james Harden. I, i'm sorry blake griffin obviously with a monster game but tobias harris um is playing a lot better than i thought he would on this team i thought he would be like a good solid third piece but he's playing like a damn number one option at times all right dallas mavericks the team that just keeps on beating everybody no matter what man can we get past some got game one got game two three one and four games to one guys we do have the toronto raptors here in the nba finals 42 10 and 6 for james harden who finally makes it to the nba finals now i know we did make it back in the day on the okc thunder but that was a beardless james harden no he had a beard it wasn't as bodacious as it is now man but it was still a beard no no doubt um 51 for luca not enough man not enough okay so the toronto raptors are the first seed let's see who's on their team currently they got pascal hassan whiteside kyle lowry surge um it's a good team i don't think it's even the best team we've faced, we've faced so far though i think the warriors were probably uh, now the warriors weren't all that good i mean they were fine but nothing special they're all good teams man simulate rounds see how this goes oh, come on man come on bro <laughs> toronto no no man oh here we are here we are guys we just lost man pascal siakam 
Yeah, about Psyche, um, bro, because you know we're kind of psyching us out with that All-Star appearance, man, after, after your performance in the playoffs. The beat us though, man. Damn, man. Uh, you know what? I should probably I should actually try to get Kyle Lowry on this team for like a season or two. Because now he's getting because how old is James Harden? He is 31. You're starting to get to that desperation point where it's like, yeah, I should do something. I should do something about this, right, man? I think I might actually go for Kyle Lowry. I don't know. We got another season of this rebuild, though, man. So close. So close. A lot better than how the first season of the Pistons rebuild went. So we got that going for us. Although, we do have James Harden, and the Pistons do not. They have Luke Kennard, but they don't have James Harden. Okay. So we are going to go straight to team player options. I don't think we have any draft picks. So, you know, we're not going to spend any time with that. If we do, it's not very good draft picks. So Blake Griffin, we decline. Hey, buddy. Okay, we got Matisse back. Chris Clemens back on the team. Uh, we got to get Blake Griffin back out here, man. So, yeah, I guess that's even, like, another, like, benefit to the deal is that at least the Houston Rockets, if anything, like, like if it doesn't get uh, work out, at least they're not, you know, subjected to Russell Westbrook's contract for much longer. So, as they heart and sign, we'll <laughs> give me the qualifying offer. I don't expect him to resign, man. He's been freaking screwed over by this management as far as, like, actually getting to play. But, oh, I don't think we got rights on Blake Griffin, guys. Oh, we do have bird rights. Okay, so obviously this is a ridiculous contract to give a 32-year-old injury-prone power for. He just come off a great season. Uh, normally, I, I would not do this in real life, guys. But for the sake of this being 2K and it being a Blake Griffin rebuild, I feel the need to get him back on the team. So we'll see if he actually signs. I would not do it in real life, man. Just got to point that out. Got to point that out. He might not actually even sign. Okay, he does sign up for that. Greedy bastard. Okay, man. You got yourself another bitch-ass contract, Blake. It's all good. It's all good, man. Get money, get paid, right? Okay, so... He should be back on the team, and he is. Alrighty. Uh, yet again, we're not going to have too much money to... Sir Dominic Pointer. Yes, I do remember that name. I do remember that name. Um, so, Marcus all has got to be old as hell. Okay, let's get another just, like, guy that sits around, shoots threes. Kelly Olenek. That should be cool. Uh, I would take, like... Uh, I was thinking maybe TJ McConnell. Maybe. I'm going to get him signed up. Well, no, we already got Clemens on the team, so we'll be fine at that spot. We're pretty much actually good to go with our bench unit here, guys. Like I said, I might, I might try to do uh, some low-key some low trades. I would like to maybe get, uh, you know, like Kyle Lowry, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford him without giving up a big-time piece. You want me to give me J.R. Smith? How old is he? 35? Damn, bro. We can still shoot threes. Kind of. At least he thinks he can. Okay, we got him signed up. Um, besides for that, let me go to Trade Finder real quick here. Kyle Lowry, he's on a three-year deal. Let's see what's offered up. They want just straight up Blake Griffin and Marcus Gasol. Okay, so if this wasn't a Blake Griffin um, rebuild, I probably would actually do that trade. Not going to lie. Like, it's actually pretty nice. But obviously, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, I guess, do we just run it back? Is that like our best course of action? And just hope that... I mean, we got to the NBA Finals, right? We got to the NBA Finals. We can get CP3. Try to do it, man. I can't get, I can't do it again, guys. Like we, we could not get CP3 back on the team. What are the point guards? Damian uh, Lillard. Okay, nothing for him. Steph Curry. No, John Wall. Just for the sake of being different. You know what, man? For the sake of being different, let's get John Wall on this team. Why not, man? Why not let it fly? Right there we go. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. John Wall, James Harden. See how it goes, man. Okay, guys, here is the new team going to the final season of this rebuild. We do have John Wall at point guard with James Harden. As far as, like, tempo of this team, it should be pretty nice. We got Matisse Flyball at small forward, Blake Griffin at the four. Kelly Olenek going to have to be shooting from Curry range because, of course, he's very slow, so he's not going to be able to keep up with the rest of the team. Uh, bench here, we got Troy Brown Jr. Should actually be a nice little addition to this team out here. I don't really know too much about him, if I'm being honest. But, uh, yeah, it looks like you're, you're good traditional scoring small forward. Hopefully, he's got some good defense out there, too. Good perimeter defense. I mean, it's fine. Uh, not quite the position average, but it's decent enough. Good steal. Um, and then we got Austin Rivers for backup shooting guard. Chris Clemens, backup point guard. And guess what? Isaiah Hartenstein. It's about damn time you get some respect down the seat, man. I thought your name was Diabetes. Okay, uh, let's go ahead, man, and check out the system. Three and a half star balance. See if seven second might look a little better. Um, it is, I mean, it's three and a half stars also. I want to do this one because I want this team running it with, you know, with uh, John Wall. Although, Olenek really doesn't like him, man. What about Primer Centric? Primer Centric actually looks pretty solid, and John Wall doesn't really take a big hit from him. Let's do that one. All right, man, let's simulate this final season, see if we can get back to the NBA Finals and not lose in seven games. Or what was it? I think I don't think it was seven games, and we still lost. So let's just not do that. Okay, so the team wasn't, like, great this season. It was worse than last year. I mean, still not a bad season, but also, you know, I mean, Jamal Murray's girlfriend exactly coming to visit this bubble team. You know what I'm saying, man? So we got 44-37. Uh, and 37. I mean... 
I didn't give this team much credit last year, and we did pretty well in the playoffs. So I do think anything can happen. We might have to, uh, you know, switch up our rotation a little bit to really get things going. But uh, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, man. Uh, we are we're the fourth seed, so that's the same seed as last year. We got that going for us. Looks like the bracket might be a little bit weaker this time around. Uh, let's go to with the player stats on the season. So Harden, 26 points. You know, seven is very nice. Uh, Blake Griffin, 25 and 10 and six. John Wall put up exceptional numbers, man. I mean, 17 points, 10 assists per game. Really good field goal percentage. So even shot 41% from three. So that's a little surprising. Olenek, 15 and eight. I mean, he was better than Gasol, if you ask me. Uh, Clemens was nice. Troy Brown was nice. Thighball, you know, focused on the D and defense. Um... Don't really know where this team went wrong. We just lost some games. Maybe it's championship fatigue. Just get ready for the playoffs, man. Just get ready for the playoffs. So, yeah, I think for the playoffs here, uh, we are going to go more small ball. So, sorry, Isaiah. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Gotta give these minutes to somebody else. James Harden playing 45 every damn minute out there. Let's get uh, Blake Griffin playing 39 and 31 for Kelly Yolenik, man. Career high in minutes for him, right? Um, so here we go, man. First round, we probably just lose the first round, all right? Simulate round, see how it goes. Let's get this championship here, man. Let's get this championship. We got the okay, okay. Oh, we're down two one. Not looking good. It's not looking good, man. It's not. Oh, it's looking better. Okay, and we lost in the first round here, man. Two K twenty's been savage lately, guys. It's been tough. They, they, th this game's definitely been making me like earn my championships, you know. Which is fun. It's it's nice going into a video and knowing that I'm not just gonna win it. Cause some games it's like it's easy to do. There are some teams, but this one's like you know what man, I didn't earn it, man. I didn't earn it. The team was fine. It wasn't nothing special. Um, obviously the thing the fact of the matter is that it's a Blake Griffin rebuild, so I did have to give him that really large contract. So it kind of hurt my rebuilding abilities, having other money freed up. But uh, you know I did it for the sake of the rebuild. Olenek was a decent signing, man. Only needs to shoot 18 times in a closeout game. John Wall absolutely choked two for ten this uh, this game, so that's not great. But uh, yeah, man, plain and simple, we lost. So closing thoughts, which I like to do now on these type of rumor videos, give you guys my final thoughts on if I think they should do that trade. Do I think the Houston Rockets should get Blake Griffin for Russell Westbrook? Um, I would probably have to say no. The reason I would say no is just simple. Yo, good job for Shea, man, get that Finals MVP. Uh, plain and simple is that. Blake Griffin is extremely injury prone, man. When he's playing, when he's actually playing, he's really good. He's a really good basketball player still. But James Harden is not exactly getting younger. You want to get more of a sure thing around him, man. What I would love for them to do is just to try to build a more traditional yet modern team around James Harden. I want them to go out there, get a 3 and D point guard. I want them to go out there, get some big guys, but big guys that can stretch the floor. Maybe a Brooke Lopez, maybe a Miles Turner, somebody like that, man, just to open up that court for James Harden, but also not be liable on defense, right? You know, guys like Anthony Davis. So I don't think Blake Griffin really solves their issues. Um, as far as offense goes, Russell Westbrook typically is a good offensive player. Like, obviously, he was bad in the playoffs, right? But typically, he's good. And that's going to be a lot of the same with Blake Griffin. It's like, he's going to have really good offensive games. He's going to have really inconsistent games. He's going to have games where he's injured, doesn't play a lot. He's going to have to sit out a lot, too. I don't think it's worth it, man. Uh, I would think they were better off keeping Russell Westbrook or looking for a different trade, man. So give me your guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.